everybody, welcome to Soapbox. My name is Mauro Di Pasquale, and you're watching Soapbox right here at WCCA-TV on cable channel 194 or anywhere around the world at WCCATV.com. You can also find us on Instagram and Twitter at WCCATV13 and Facebook at WCCATV. And don't forget, if you want to watch, you can watch literally thousands of your favorite WCCATV shows for free on-demand viewing at WCCATV.com com slash video and we're also on youtube at wcca tv 194 worcester um there's a lot to talk about today so i'll make my announcements kind of quick i want to say thank you to stephen welch optician for supporting the show also sal acuri of acuri motor on june street for su supporting the show and worcester family eye care for their constant support for our show here at wcca tv and also other shows on our channel all the members of our circle of friends and if you would like to help support us we're nonprofit community television uh, you can make a tax deductible donation of your choice by texting WCCA TV to the number 243-725 that's WCCA TV to 243-725 and you can make a tax deductible gift so we thank you in advance for that um, I think today you're going to find kind of interesting because it's a way for you to uh, potentially get more money for your taxes, for paying your taxes. So you've got earned income tax. We're going to learn a little bit about that, what that is, and how you might be able to benefit for it. Uh, we have members from the Worcester Free Tax Coalition here, uh, the, also known as the VITA program or maybe VITA program. It depends on how you like to pronounce it, V-I-T-A. So we're going to learn about that and how you can benefit from it. Uh, there are different locations in the city that are available for you to access. So joining us to teach us about that, we have Eduardo Rivas. He's an enrollment counselor, math accounting facility of the VITA program. He's a VITA program coordinator. Also, if I can get, I'm going to mess it up, I think, but Gusame, did I say it right? No, Gazima. Gazima. I even wrote it down, Gazima. So Gazima Zito. Uh, and she's a Worcester State student, and uh, she's also a, a, a VITA volunteer, tax preparer. And Cassandra Marin, she's a Sigmund College student, and also a VITA volunteer and tax preparer. Thank you for being here. I'm sorry I messed up your name. <laughs> Thank you for the invitation, Milo. Uh, no, I'm glad you're here. Um, I get to see you almost every year now. <laughs> yes, like I was here last meeting. I'm yeah, glad yeah. to be here again. <laughs> uh, so... So tell us, what, what, does, what does VITA or VITA, how, what's it stand for, V-I-T-A? It's uh, Volunteer Income Tax Assistance. So we offer free tax services for the low-income community and people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a great service for the community. Oh, like, sure. Yes, like we have like tons of families every year. Last year, my side, we did like around like 500 returns. I know some other sites did more. So in total, yeah. we probably did like around like 2000, I would say. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's all part of that Worcester Free Tax Coalition, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Tax and, service. Yeah, and one of the great things about the program is like it's a national program, so we have it here in Worcester, but there are some other states that they also have the program. They also do. Yeah. And you give people an opportunity to, to uh, benefit from earned income tax credit. Yes. Can you explain a little bit about that, what that means? Yes, so the earned income tax credit is a uh, credit for the low income community. So Everyone who qualifies, if they are making, like, if they have a job or they meet the criteria, usually making at least like um, eighteen thousand dollars or less, mm -hmm. uh, they qualify and they can get some extra money for this. So there's extra funds that you may not know about that come through yeah, through like, the EITC. Usually, we have people like they are not required to file taxes, but we can get them some money because right. of the income tax credit. Like uh, that's a really good benefit for right. the low-income families. Now, who's required to file taxes? Is there a certain amount of money you need to make before you yes, it, file? Yes, it, it's a lot of rules. Uh, I would say um, if someone was an employee and they, they were, there was some money taken from their jobs, they should file because they are able to get that money back. Right, even if yeah. it was a small amount, even, right? Yeah, even if it was a small amount. Right. Like sometimes I have seen people like making like $2,000 during the year, but $200 were taken for taxes, so we are able to get that money back for them. Yeah, 
Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's important. Yeah, that, and because it's free. It, yeah, it's, cases it's where you, free. you have to yeah. pay, mm-hmm. you can pay more than that just to have your taxes done. Yes, and like, uh, so, as I say, it's a, it's a great benefit for the community. I think, like, everyone, if they are eligible for the program, they should try to benefit from this. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you're benefiting. It's, it's uh, benef- benefiting from the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program. Uh, also, you may know it as EITC program or the Worcester Free Tax Service. Uh, so we're here now. There's this number of locations where this is offered that mm-hmm. people can sign up for, make an appointment yes. to go. So we'll talk a little bit about that mm-hmm. today. But I'm interested also, who can volunteer for this? Anybody can apply for it, right? And and yes, may or as may long not. as they are willing. The yep. two of them are some of my volunteers, and they are great. They are <laughs> yeah, great. They, they are, are great. great. So, like, Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> I think anyone can uh, volunteer as long as they pass the certification test uh, in order for them like to become uh, IRS certified volunteers. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, like we'll talk after, I guess, but they'll, you know, you get some uh, college credits if you're a student, and yeah. then, you know, you can or just decide to volunteer. So now are you a student? Uh, I'm a student, uh, but what, I'm actually uh, not you're taking... You're Worcester State? That, that yeah. is right. Um, but I'm volunteering for this program. Okay, so why did you choose to volunteer for the program? So there are two reasons why I chose to uh, participate in this program. Uh, First, uh, I would like to apply, check, and improve my knowledge in taxes. And second, I think it's a great pleasure being part of the community, um, listening to their needs, and uh, helping them with my knowledge and experience. Yeah, so it's really a great, great asset for your education. That is so right. It's part of your education. What's your major? My major is accounting. Yeah, so your major, what, what year are you in? Uh, this is my last semester. This is your last year, semester. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and how about you, Cassandra? Um, I decided to, do, to take these classes because I wanted to help my community. My community. Yeah. And, and are you uh, now you're a Quincy, so is that what's your major? Is it accounting also? Oh uh, no, I am engineering study. You're an engineer? No, no, engineering study. Oh, okay, studies. yeah. And and uh, what is this your second year at Quincy? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is this the first time volunteering for Vita? Yes. It's, yeah. um, it's when I meet Eduardo. He explained me this program, and I decide to take these classes. Yeah, yeah. Now, how's the experience? Anybody can answer this. How's the experience so far? You've already started, right? The program is already initiated. Yes, I, I love this program. I have been part of the program for the last uh, seven years. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I have been doing this seven years. I started when I, I was in the first year of college. Yeah. Uh, one of my professors told me about the program. I have been doing it every single year since that. Wow. I became the coordinator. Were you a, 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 a state? Uh, I was a student at uh, QCC first and yeah. then Assumption College. Oh, yeah. So I was first doing it as a QCC student and then as part of the Assumption College program because um, Assumption has a partnership with Plumlee. Uh-huh. So oh, most of the volunteers okay. at Plumlee are yeah. Assumption College students. Yeah, I remember the, the Plumlee. Yeah, yes. They had a so, big facility. Yes, there, at, yeah. at that point I was doing that at Plumlee and also at Maine South CDC. Yeah. yeah. So you really liked it. Yeah, I really <laughs> love the program. My <laughs> yeah. goal is to grow the program as much as I can. I want people to say, uh, we have this city, Booster, where they have this great tax program. Like, you yeah. know, like... Um, there are places that are well known for specific things. I want Worcester right. to be well known for this. Yeah. Now, yeah. when did it start this year? When did you start opening uh, the doors for? We started February first. Okay. Yes, but it, it depends on the days that the right. location opens. So it's yeah. been going about three, four weeks now, yes. right? Mm-hmm. And you guys have been you've been involved for the last three, four weeks That's with the. Right. Pro- so, what do you enjoy most about it? So the first week was quite challenging because, you know, it was the feeling that I was missing documents and I, you know, just to make sure that I was entering every uh, single information. But after that, it's uh, very, like, it, it's interesting. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> um, so, um, so you find it interesting? It is very interesting because um, you get to help people and, like, you want to know at the end if they are getting, like, a refund or mm. if they need to pay something back. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. How about you, Cassandra? Um, what do you find most interesting? Um, I really like at the end when the people say thank you to us. Like I can see how they're happy yeah. and make me happy also. Yeah, and it, it means something too when they get that money back because the money is spent locally, usually, mm-hmm. right? Yes. It, it so the money goes back into our own local. 
mm -hmm. economy. Yeah, the way I see it is it helps the community, the low income community, but it also helps the students. Like, um, I started this as a class with Quinciamo Community College, so I bring accounting students every year, but I also bring some other QCC students from different majors. Like, I had in the past, like, engineering majors, I had uh, science majors, I had people who were majors, like, not related to business, and they are still doing this. So it's a great experience for the students to get involved in the community, mm -hmm. get college credit, but at the same time, uh, for the community to benefit from us. Yeah, the community, and as students, you benefit from learning about your community. What yeah, people, learning about the community. The needs of certain mm -hmm. people, right? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's like... It's, it's, it's great for them. Yeah, now does this count towards the college credit? Yes, like uh, QCC, we are offering this as a four credit class. It's a, regu oh, it's so a it's regular a four class. Credit class. Yes, but I also have students that are, they are just volunteering either to complete hours for different uh, programs, like the you, community like service. Like internship or, yeah, internship. Yeah. I have some class students that they are doing that for that reason. But uh, this year I have 50 volunteers, so everyone has different reasons, and I believe like the reason in common is like we love to help the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that's why you, you wanted to belong, because it was good for you and good mm -hmm. for the community. Yes. That was your incentive to, to, mm -hmm. to sign up, to be a volunteer. Mm -hmm. So now how does a person out there, there might be people watching um, that want to get their taxes done, and what should they be, what should they know? Uh, do they do they need to know anything to qualify? Do they need to prepare anything in advance? Uh, uh, usually, we help people that make less than fifty six thousand uh, dollars. What they can do is uh, they can always give us a call, um, and we check if they're eligible for the program. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say, if someone had income from a job, they should try to file taxes. So any kind of income. Yeah, any now, kind. When you say 56, is that is that per person or per family? Uh, is that, there a, is that's there a... kind of like the highest income per family. Anyone, okay. regardless of the status, making less than that. If they go a little above, we, 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 yeah. can, we can take a look to the case. Right, right, yeah. And on a case-by-case -case basis, because yeah. mm -hmm. you also want to see if they have... Like if they have a lot of children, yeah, they or have a lot of children. Right? Depend, depends on the income. So we we take a look to the specific situation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how many how many sites are available in the city? Uh, we have four sites. Uh, we have Main South CDC. We have Gustav State College. Uh, in, sorry, in University. Uh, yeah. We have uh, Plonley Village and WCAC. So it's four of them. So, okay, Main South, Worcester Community, uh, the WCAC is the Worcester Community uh, Action Council right mm -hmm. down the street here on Main Street, mm -hmm. Plumley Village, Worcester State University, and Main South CDC. CDC. Mm -hmm. uh, now, are you, are you all working in the same place? Are you volunteering in the same facility? Yes. yes we are so volunteering. you're at the Main South? Or did Main you say? South CDC. So you're the Main South CDC. If people want to get involved with the Main South, there's a phone number to call if they want to yes, make an appointment. Yes, there is a phone number for that. Yeah, and it's 508? 758 So 508-752-6181. And what about online? Can they contact you online too? Yes, people can make appointments online and they can select the location that's closer for them. If okay. they go to uh, freetaxhelp.us. Yeah. So free tax help. Free tax help dot us, And uh, you'll be able to select the uh, location you want, whether yes. it's uh, at Main South or Plumley Village, Worcester State, or the WCAC, and also the time for your yes, appointment. Yes, they, they select the time of the appointments. Like every site has different hours. So Clients can select the one that is more convenient for them. So you can find, yeah, location or, or time. You go ahead. I'm sorry. You were going to say something. Um, sorry. Anyone else, uh, also anyone else who wants to, who wishes to file taxes without free of charge um, and they are unable to give us a call or uh, book an appointment online, they can walk in and uh, book an appointment in person. So they can at walk our in. our location. Okay. Uh, yep. And we are located at 875 Main Street. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. That's important information. 875 Main that's Street is, is the location for the Main South. Is that, that's the, yeah, that's the, 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 yeah, yeah, the Main South CDC. Mm -hmm. 875 Main Street. You can walk in. What times? Uh, um, our hours of operation are on Wednesdays and Fridays, uh, 6 to... It's 5.45 uh, to 8.45 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday and Fridays. Saturday, we have 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. 
Oh, wow. okay. So you got a little, just a little bit of a break. But yes. Then, so Saturday must be a busy day, I bet. Yes, huh? I yeah. have a lot of my volunteers. Uh, they are great, and they are volunteering the whole Saturday. So I yeah. try to give them nice some time to rest. Right. <laughs> what, what do you advise people to take with them if they come to get their taxes? What uh, materials? Like for the documents, right? Yes. Yeah. So, it will so um, it's very important for everyone who books an appointment with us to bring uh, personal documentation, which includes a photo ID. Um, social security card uh, for the taxpayer, um, their spouses, like their spouse or their dependents, if any. Um, also, uh, we need to see their date of births um, and the banking information, including account number and routing number uh, for direct deposit if they get an air refund. Okay. And all of the, any tax form that they get or any tax document. Uh, they can also bring it so that way we take a look if that's right. Important. Like if it's a 1099 yeah. form. Yeah. Or so besides personal documentation, uh, they can bring the income documentations, um, yeah. healthcare documentations, yeah. or education forms. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say like uh, W2, any kind of 1099 form, any kind of 1095 form, uh, they should bring it. Also, the medical insurance card. Yeah. That one, uh, it's important to bring. Right. Yeah. Right. Should they have like special receipts if they've spent money on certain things? Can they claim that too? Uh, yes, uh, this year it's a little harder than previous years just, just because uh, the amount in standard deduction is higher. So mm -hmm. that means clients, in order to claim expenses, uh, the expenses need to be like really high. Like if they are single, need to be like more than 12,400. If they are married, it needs to be more than 24. 1,400, so it's harder, but we can always take a look and calculate. Yeah. So they, they, they are welcome to bring any receipts with eligible expenses. When yeah. I say eligible expenses, I am talking about medical expenses. Um, if, if they have like uh, gas receipts, also like uh, yeah like utility receipts yeah utility stuff. receipts mm -hmm. that's that can go against the income. yeah any, anything related to uh their profession profession or jobs any expenses they can al always bring them and we take a look if we can develop them sure. also if they have done any donation uh, during 2019 they can bring us a proof of um, their donations. Uh, donations is there a limit on the donations like or, or maximum or minimum uh usually the donation is part of the itemized deductions so as I say, it needs to, like, the donations combined with the medical expenses will need to add to more than $24,000 yeah. or the 12, yeah. 24 and 400 With, with and medical. Yes, yeah. with, the me with the medical. Yeah, and it's not dollar by dollar, so, yeah. Yeah. So things have changed since last year with the taxes, uh, huh? Last or the year, year before. Th yeah. Last year, there were a lot of changes. Yeah. Like, we went from having a standard deduction that was 6300 to $12,000, so they mm. double the amounts. Yeah, so is that yeah. good? Is that uh, good for taxpayers? It's, it's good for some of the taxpayers. I will say uh, a lot of the families, especially when they had a lot of dependents, they lost their exemptions. Yeah. So uh, that's one of the big changes that impacted not, not a lot as of much, people. Not yeah, as much because, incentive, right? Yeah, because we had an exemption that it was $4,050 per person. So we don't have it anymore. Yeah. Uh, they increased the standard deduction, which helped some people. But imagine a family with three children. Right. So three exemptions there, plus the two for the parents, adds to more um, than the deduction. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, but you do all you can to help people that yeah, need we, it with we, that, right? You yeah. make sure they know and mm -hmm. they understand. And, and do you, is there any charge, any fee to the persons getting their taxes done? No, the program, it's, it's free, so we don't charge anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good to know. Yes. So free tax, and how many people have you um, worked on so far? We ha I checked it yesterday, and so far we have done like almost 300 returns. I believe it's 286 so far. So well, that, that's just for so main, the, since it started this month? Yes, that's February. just for Maine South CDC. I'm pretty yeah. sure the other sites are around the same numbers. Wow. Yeah. Is there a standard, um, is there a standard rate people are getting back? I mean, that, that means a lot. So out of 286, a lot of them must be getting immediate, re, you know, their taxes returned electronically. Yes, like we try to e-file most of the returns. Like if it is uh, for this year, uh, I will say like 95% of the time we are able to refile it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty good grades, yeah. right? Yes, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's great like, because people don't have to worry about anything. We prepare everything 
Uh, we make sure everything is correct, show them the numbers, we send them. People are getting the refunds like in a week. I, I heard from some people that they got it even in three days. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's definitely something people should try to do, right? Mm -hmm. and, and Cassandra, you mentioned that you really enjoy seeing how happy they are. So you, you've, you expect to see at least three, 300 more people happy? Yes. <laughs> how many people yeah. do you think you'll see this year? My goal is to see seven, eight hundred. Yeah. So I try to like prepare more and more returns every year. Yeah. Um, I know that I became the coordinator. This is my third year as a coordinator. Um, before I was the coordinator, we were we were a sm very small site. So we were doing around like 150, 200 returns per year. Mm. My first year I did like um, 300 and something. Last year I did 500. My goal this mm. year is to. Yeah. Prepare like seven, eight hundred. Yeah, you can because you already have two eighty six in the month. Yes. We, you know, people are watching this now. It's already March for them mm -hmm. if they're watching it on TV. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're here in the last week of February, uh, just to give you an idea. And you already did nearly three hundred. I mean, yes. two hundred eighty six people. Mm -hmm. That's a good rate if you yeah, do that yeah. every month. When does it end? When does the tax a service April end? April fifteenth is the last day that we are going to be open. So that's the last day. So mm -hmm. you have a good chance of getting close, yes. even above that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like my goal, as I say, it's uh, I want to be on the 700, 800. Yeah. If more, that's yeah, the Yeah, I think better. so. Yeah. Yeah. That would be fantastic. So yeah. you, is it about the same for every location, about the same rate um, of people? Usually, some other sites, uh, they can offer more appointments. Like yeah. uh, Main South CDC, we, we count with eight computers. So I know some other sites, they uh, come with like 20 computers, so oh, they're wow. able to help more, more clients at the yeah. same time. But yeah. I have this year 50 volunteers, so they help me like with a lot of different things, like scheduling appointments, uh, helping the clients, filling the paperwork, preparing the returns, checking that everything is okay with the returns. Yeah. yeah. Now, you you guys do the actual returns, right? Yeah, we, we prepare. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but there are other volunteer jobs that are not necessarily, you don't have to be an accountant, right? You can, like yes, you say, like you can direct people. I uh, as I said before, I have people that are preparing taxes and they are not even business majors. They are engineering majors, science yeah, majors. Right. But uh, people can help me in different roles. Usually what, what I tell the people is, if you want to volunteer on my side, come and help me. I will find yeah. you something to do. Yeah. Because like uh, we operate like, mainly by volunteers, so we need people like making calls, we need people preparing the returns, we need people helping translating, we need yeah, yeah we need people like helping like people checking. So uh, yeah, yes. Uh, so is that fifty volunteers just in your site or yeah, is just it in my just site. in your site? Yeah. So the other sites have about the same. Um, probably I think like. Um, the ones that only take the students, they probably have less because mm -hmm. it's only for the for the students. Yeah. But like on my side, I have the mainly the QCC students, but I take like anyone who is willing to volunteer. Yeah. So I'm just gonna you just read from this just yes. briefly. So if you're interested in in the uh, volunteer income tax assistant, whether it's a volunteer or to have your taxes done, Maine South is uh, Maine South CDC, eight seventy five Main Street is 508-752-6181 uh, or uh, vita, V-I-T-A at Q-C-C dot M-A dot mass dot edu. And then you can also call Plumley Village at 508-770-0508. That's 508-770-0508 for Plumley Village. Uh, you can find out their hours there. And Worcester Community Action Council on Main Street here downtown uh, they just have a website, but it's www.wcac.net forward slash uh, VITA forward slash. And then Worcester State University on Chandler Street, 486 Chandler. You can call 508-929-8424 for further information there. Or you can call Free Tax Help. Uh, I'm sorry, you can go online, freetaxhelp.us and make an appointment. Any final comments from anybody uh, before we sign off? We're just about out of time. Well, uh, I want to say thank you for the time here. It's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, and for the clients, I want to encourage them to like get your taxes done with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get it done for free, yeah. and you can get uh, earned income tax credit, and there's all kinds of benefits that you might have an opportunity to gain from. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for mm -hmm. your thank service you and for your volunteering. 
uh, to do what you do because you're helping people and, and add, adding to their quality of life. Mm -hmm. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. It's good Carl. to see you all. Yeah, Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> so with this, the Worcester Free Tax uh, Service, the VITA program, um, look up the numbers at freetaxhelp.us. And we're way out of time. I'm Mauro Di Pasquale. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you on WCCA-TV, the People's Channel. Thank you.